a city as diverse, innovative, and economically booming as Toronto Path is first. These cities are often trendsetters in ways designer fashions and lifestyles. Keeping up isn't easy unless you have the cash. With the money in our pockets, we can buy chains, watches, and accessories to a suit our liking. But what we don't often realize is what goes into making these everyday items possible. Through the metals extracted from the ground, mining makes many everyday possible products possible. This allows us to build a better world that suits your liking. There are more than 40 mining sites operating in Ontario, and we're the largest producer in Canada of gold, nickel, copper, and structural materials. Gold and silver are not only used in jewelry, but also in many electrical systems, such as smartphones and computers. Many of today's hybrid vehicles depend on nickel for their use in nickel metal hydride batteries. And we all know that copper is used in electrical wiring around the world. With all these new products, mining stimulates our economy. It generates hundreds of billions of dollars per year for our nation and it gives us a stable income. It's not just the resources that give us the money, it's also the stock market activity. You see, even ordinary people like you or him can get in on this economic activity. The mining industry creates $440 billion a year, which accounts for 30% of the total amount of shares worth deal on the TSX. That's a great amount of money. Now let's take a more local perspective of the situation. Now we're going to look at Ontario's Mining Association and what's happening more locally. A study by the Ontario Mining Association asked what would happen if just one more mine was opened up in Ontario. Well, this mine would make $277.8 million each year. That's not including the $83.8 million a year that would go to each level of government. As for jobs, this mine would make nearly 2,000 jobs. And don't forget the jobs such as construction workers who create, maintain, and demolish the mine. It's a lot of families getting food on their table, if you ask me. So, how do we spark these mining jobs of the future? Well, we we'll to educate the next generation, of course. And while we have been focused upon a plurality of viewpoints concerning the economic and societal importance of mining, it will get tied together through education. As a teacher who wants his students to succeed in a dynamically structured job market, I want these young people to understand the benefits of the mining industry from a classroom perspective. Not only does the industry grow as the potential for resource extraction does as well, so does the demand for a diversity of job skills that can be learned by current students and future workers. From engineering oriented and research intensive careers to hands-on skill trades, what the mining industry best represents is a holistic opportunity that is ready to be capitalized upon.